Okay. Hey guys, I'm um fixing a strip steak. So yeah, I'm gonna show y'all the ingredients I use. Steak seasoning. Gotta have that loud seasoned salt. Of course, I put a little bit of onions, but I'm frying some onions up. Some green peppers, some red peppers. Onion salt. Garlic powder. Oh, yeah, that's all I'm doing, guys. I'm also going to make, um, I used a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. But I'm also going to make a few, um, baked potatoes. And, of course, put some sour cream and, um, parsley in it. And I show you all the sour cream. What I'm about to use for the baked potatoes, sour cream. So y'all that again. I'm gonna use some sour cream. Okay. Parsley, parsley flakes. That's all I'm doing, guys. I'm just fixing a strip, the strip steak. Next time, I'm gonna make um the ribeye steak. Yeah, ribeye is real big, guys. It's really big. You can eat on that ribeye steak for like two, two three days, but I just fixed a little small little strip strip steak today. Excuse me, guys. So, like I said, I'll be back. I'm going to show y'all the finishing touches when I make the baked potatoes. Put the sour cream in it. Well, it's going to be like a loaded potato because I'm putting the sour cream and parsley in it. It's going to be really good, guys. But, yeah, I hope you all like my video of the strip steak, guys. Then be looking out for my next cooking video. I might do like a ribeye steak. Yeah, ribeye steak. Mm, yummy. Like you could feed like three 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 people with one rib I steak. That's how big it is. Yeah. Or you could just be eating on a rib I steak for like three days straight. Cause it's really big. You're not gonna finish that in one day. But I hope you all like my um strip steak haul. Well, my strip steak video. Please guys like share, and subscribe to my video. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.